Hello and welcome to the last video within first module in the course where we are learning about business strategy. In previous videos we have discussed the macro environment of an organization. We have as well discussed a lot about industry that is surrounding an organization and we are finally going to move to the most inner layer which is competitors. So we are going to talk about your position as an organization compared to your competitors. And to do so, we are going to use one very pretty and simple model called blue ocean thinking that is going to reveal to us how can we compete with our competitors. So let's go for it. In business terminology, we have two terms red oceans and blue oceans. I think you guessed it correctly that blue oceans are going to be a more favorable situation for us and we would like to get in there because uh, red oceans are market spaces which are well defined and industry is intense. Automobile industry can be an example of red ocean. But on the other hand, if we move to the blue oceans, there the definition says, blue oceans are market spaces where competition is minimized. So I, at least I see blue oceans as a specific sub markets or, or even niches within wider red oceans. So imagine you have five companies competing with each other on red ocean, maybe the automobile industry. Now, one of them would like to go into a blue ocean and would like to find some sub market where they can calmly operate, calmly be profitable and not being in so much direct competition with the other players who are within the market. Can they do it? Of course they can. They can identify so-called critical success factors because critical success factors are those factors that are either particularly valued by customers or provide a significant advantage in terms of costs. So how can we explain this? I have a nice picture for you. Let's say that we are able to define a couple of these critical success factors and we can put them on horizontal axes in the graph. Well, let's say it can be cost, delivery reliability, after sale service, technical quality, testing services and design advice. These are critical success factors as valued by our customers. Now, the vertical axis represents how much customers perceive a performance of our and other firms when it comes to these critical success factors. Now we simply put our performance, assuming we are company C, and performance of our competitors. As you can see, we are generally performing a bit worse on most of these factors. However, we may or do perform significantly better on testing of the services and design advice. This is the blue ocean for us. There should be the subgroup of our customers within this market that might really appreciate these two factors and we might focus on these and thus differentiate ourselves. It is a blue ocean as our competitors are not really focusing on it. So if we are able to find a subgroup of customers that values well-tested devices and uh, are really willing to accept a design advice, this can be a really profitable group of customers for us. What we have just seen can be noted as value innovation. Well, what you have to do is to simply take the entirety uh, of the value that you provide to your customers and disassemble it to smallest pieces and then evaluate your position to other competitors who are within the market. Uh, if I should give a concrete example and we stick to the automobile industry, let's say that uh, we will start to produce golf carts. We realize that we are great at producing smaller low-cost vehicles which are great uh, moving on the grass. So we will simply start to producing golf carts and that will be the submarket. That will be the blue ocean that we have been searching for. Now, maybe for upcoming years, we will be a uh, sort of monopolist within this market and that can yield a lot of profits for us. Now, in the real world, it is not so easy to apply and implement the blue ocean, but if you manage to do so, then you will have a great piece of business analysis, especially if you are able to define these critical success factors that we have discussed, then you are a great business analyst. So that is all from me when it comes uh, to the blue ocean thinking. And I think this is the best model that I could have brought to discuss the competition that is surrounding an organization.